We all have a right to water, right? Or do we? I guess. And not, it's like you can live here with, you, if you can just breathe and not drink water, that's okay. <laughs> well, we <laughs> think we got water, right? they, uh, they actually have a number of state and federal exemptions. So they're <coughs> exempt from the Clean Air Act, Clean Drinking Water Act, and the Clean Water Act on the federal level, as well as the Water Withdrawal Statute and the Great Sections of the Great Lakes Compact on the state level. So through those exemptions are, are kind of reasons and why they when did those come into system. effect, those exemptions? Um, it's dubbed the Halliburton loophole on the federal <laughs> level, so 2005. 2005, all right. Mm -hmm. um, when the 2005 energy bill was enacted with the help of Dick Cheney. Mm -hmm. And I think it was 2008 for the Great Lakes Compact and the Water Withdrawal Statute. So one thing that's really important um, is Michigan is the only state that's um, has the water withdrawals like we're currently doing, where they drill a water well directly on the well pad and take from the local water table. So it's been an issue already um, in Kalkaska at the Western Well. They ended up dropping the water table 84 feet and had to drill new water wells for their surrounding neighbors. So when it comes to the lease, the part the, with the water um, water section of your lease is very important to talk about water withdrawals if you can because the watt is, while it had great intentions, is not an effective tool. They ended up drilling nine wells, including one off of the well pad at the Westerman Wall in Kalkaska, and then had to truck in water. So. And it wasn't designed for situations in which a huge amount of water would be withdrawn in a relatively short period of time. Yeah. So it's, it's just an and water used for <laughs> fracking is permanently removed from the water cycle due to the chemicals used. And there's naturally occurring radioactive material deep within those formations. So Michigan is permitting anywhere from 2 to 35 million gallons for a single extraction. And if the well produces, it can be uh, fractured multiple times. So we're talking billions of gallons of water. Lost forever. From Lost forever. Well, hopefully forever. Well. It's very toxic. You know, I'm not being offered anything, yet I live less than a mile away from where this is going to take place if it does. And we all, you know, we all have underground wells. Right. Um, I don't, they're going to use the water, probably this, from the same water table that I right. get my water, and they're going to, you know, maybe put the brine or whatever they extract and need to get rid of back into the... Yeah, it's kind of awful to think that they could... I, I can't them. even imagine. I don't have any recourse. I don't have any any say in what is happening here. I don't understand this. I'm just flabbergasted. Perhaps one of the things we could do during this process of having these meetings is invite our state senator McGregor and our state uh, representative Akadoulas to come to the meeting and take the barrage that they're probably going to get from all of you and answer some of these questions themselves. And tell them we as their uh, constituents whom they're supposed to represent want them to put forth some legislation like you just said. Let's ask them to do it and see what they say.